Okay, so recently iRacing changed their user interface over. Um, a lot of people have been using the website interface, uh, the membership website, and the user interface uh, has been in beta for quite a while. So it's been available for everyone who wanted to use it uh, as a beta. I've been using it as the beta for ages uh, to the point where I forgot it was still in beta. I just thought that was the way everybody was using the software because uh, it's been out so long. But apparently there were still a lot of people that were uh, unwilling to uh, loosen their grip on the old ways. And after the recent update, uh, that a lot of people, unfortunately, did have to spend a lot of time waiting to download. Uh, they were greeted with this new interface. It's looks very similar to anyone who's been using the beta, um, but is drastically different uh, if you have not been using it. So uh, there has been a lot of... What's the word I want to use? Whining. I'm going to walk you little children through the new user interface so that you can feel comfortable because I know change is hard and technology is scary and it's, it's 2020 and anything that's different is absolutely terrifying. So let's, let's walk through this because it's not as bad as it looks. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually really, really easy to use. So please give it a chance. Uh, when you load it, it, you get to this screen right here. I don't know how much simpler and user-friendly this can be. Honestly, I know some people have said they've had problems I've never had any issues with this, and I have issues with everything. So if I can use it, um, you know, maybe people have other technical issues on their end. Um, but this is so idiotically simple to use that if you're having trouble with this, uh, I, I, to me, this is way better than the, the website. In fact, I had troubles with the website, uh, and it was just a lot easier to go use the interface. The user interface, when it first rolled out as a beta, was was a little rough, but they, they periodically made improvements to it. And I think they've made it even better in this latest update, um, because it used to be when you loaded into the screen, uh, you got mostly news on this first page and you interfaced with the actual gameplay elements on this uh, element, uh, this uh, menu to the left. Now they've added really all that stuff right here to the, to the first screen. What you have right in front of you now is pretty much everything you need to run. If you want the news uh, on the top here, you have this bar uh, and you also have it in the upper left-hand corner where it says dashboard latest news and, and the eSports network. I can come up here, you start in the dashboard, I can click on news, and that's where it'll give you articles. Now this stuff is, is definitely good to check out because it'll tell you if there's uh, anything uh, maybe new coming to the simulator. Um, it'll give you news about some of the e-racing series if you follow any of those. And if you do follow some of the e-racing series, the third bar up here is the live broadcast bar, which takes you to the Twitch channel super simple right and you have it both ways if you don't like using it on the top you can come over here and you can use it uh in the uh, the menu on the left which i i think you can i think if i click the toggle sidebar way up here in the extreme upper left i can make that go away and i can make this go full screen and for most things that's fine you don't have to use that menu bar and it, it'll pop open if you if you move the mouse over to the left um so th this actually is really really kind of nice the buttons that you have here uh, store. It's interesting that they let off with store, but uh, the store takes you to where you would normally go to buy your cars and tracks. Um, and you can also switch over to the cars that you own. So you can also go to your inventory. So this is the same as uh, coming over here and you have the store, but then you also have my content. So it's the same as switching back and forth between store and my content. And you see you can click between cars and tracks uh, in both. Uh, they work just the same. Um, one thing I don't like about the tracks that they changed, and this was done, I believe, in the beta as well recently, is you don't get the, the track map. Oh, now you do. Oh, I take it back. I just learned something new. This must have popped in with the, uh, the update. So they put this back in. Prior to this last update, um, because I, was, I buy new tracks frequently, uh, they didn't have the track map. So this is nice. They've added this back in. This is more like what it used to be. So uh, they fixed this. So great. Uh, that was really the only gripe I had, and they fixed it. So uh, I have I have no gripes now. Check back later in case I develop more. So so that's that. Uh, so we'll go back to the home, 
by coming over here and clicking that in the sidebar. Uh, official series, big giant bar. Uh, that takes you to the uh, iRacing Sanction series if you're looking for these. Not hard to get to. Um, again, going back to the sidebar, if you go to Hosted Races, uh, that gets you to uh, some of the uh, races that are going on at the various tracks. I can click on this and that'll take me into the uh, uh, this particular practice session that uh, that is going on right now so uh, so lots of stuff there um, I think you can change the way this is viewed too you can go back to this list this is the way it, I think most people are probably used to looking at it so you can look at it with the big uh, pictures or you can just look at it as a list I like the list because there's so many you want to be able to scroll through it kind of quickly uh, and then uh, time track competitions are there so again you can get to it here but you can also get to that through the uh, official series and the hosted races. So it takes you the same place. So you got two different ways to get to it. Uh, you also have, if you want to set up some single player stuff, you have your test drive button, your AI racing button. Uh, a lot of people have been interested in a uh, the AI racing. Uh, recently, I got a question on that online. Uh, so now it's really easy to get to. But you could also just come over here to the Go Racing. Uh, I'm sorry, not Go Racing. Uh, AI Racing has its own uh section now and you can create the season create a roster single race and we have a video on this so if you want more about the ai racing and and how it works uh you can go check that video um so that's there you also have your link to your leagues um i'm not in a league but if you want to find a league uh you have your search uh window right here that's super intuitive to use just fill in what you're looking for uh, and It'll give you the, the list of leagues that meet, meets your criteria. So no big deal there. Uh, there's also a button here to start a league. So again, it's all right there in front of you. None of this stuff is hard to find. It's all super easy. I know I'm going through this fast, but if you need me to slow down, you I don't know how to help you. Um, I <laughs> this is this is laid out as intuitively and as simply as I can imagine it possibly could be. Um, down here on the bottom of the screen, you just have your some special offers and your and your Twitter feed. Um, generally, this stuff doesn't isn't too useful, um, but it, it's all right here. I mean, they they literally hold it right up in front of your face and say, "What do you want to do?" Here's all the buttons. Um, if this if this is confusing to you, then it's gonna get worse once you get past the screen um, because the actual simulator interface is far more complicated than this. So, um, if you're able to use the simulator. You should be able to handle the the uh, the lobby to get into it. So, some other things that are over here on the uh, sidebar that go beyond uh, these the buttons on the uh, main dashboard view. Uh, you have your results for any of your specific events that you've run recently uh, in your list of replays. Uh, and then there's also a help and support option where you can uh, read the helpful documents, policies, and rules and things like that there's some videos and if you want to do things like file a protest or actually get some extra help uh, that's there honestly there's plenty of videos on youtube if you need help with something you're probably going to be better off uh going to youtube and and seeing what other people have done we've got some helpful iRacing videos there too this is one of them you're watching one of them right now and if uh Hopefully this is helping you, and hopefully after you get done watching this video, um, you won't be quite so intimidated by the user interface. I know change is scary. I know it's rough, um, but but we'll get through this together. It's uh, you'll like it once you get used to it. This is this will become like a trusted friend, like a warm embrace, like your favorite food on a rainy day. You will grow to love it. And then they'll change it again, and we can go through this all over again, inevitably. Uh, but no, this interface is super simple. I get that it's different. Take five minutes. Take a deep breath. Check it out. It's not that big a deal. It really is simple. I mean, my God, there's a half a screen button that says Go Racing. I don't know how you can make that any simpler. Press here to race. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know guys I think they made it pretty easy to use so uh, 
I'm going to cut it off here because I don't want to waste anybody's time. Uh, it's not the, the interface is so simple to use. It's not worth a walkthrough. Um, but I made this video because I immediately heard people crying about it within 24 hours of it coming out. And I honestly think the user interface is so much better than the than the silly website. Uh, it's it's more robust. It's more reliable. It's 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 laid out really, really nicely. Um, it's you know, the downloads are easier. I don't have problems with browser uh, conflicts and things like that. It just works. So so try it out. Use it. Like I said, relax. Take a deep breath. It'll be okay. You'll figure it out. And you'll continue to enjoy your iRacing just like you did before. And you might even enjoy it a little bit more. So I hope this is helpful. And uh, I hope that uh, I see you guys online. We'll be posting more iRacing-related content in the future, I'm sure. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next lap.